The AI revolution is underhyped, and here's why. The arrival of this new intelligence will profoundly change our country and the world in ways we cannot fully understand. And none of us, including myself and, frankly, anyone in this room, is prepared for the implications of this. What's happening at the moment in our industry is that we're very, very quickly, for example, developing, developing AI programmers. And these AI programmers will replace uh, traditional software programmers. We're building in the next year AI mathematicians that are as good as the top-level graduate students in math. This is happening very quickly. Today, you think of AI as ChatGPT. But what it really is, is a reasoning and planning system that we've never seen before. The implication of this is profound. In terms of the way the algorithms work, they're going to need a lot more computation than we've ever had. They're going to need a lot more energy, and I'll talk about that. What does the industry need? We need high skills immigration, light touch regulation around cyber and bio threats. And most importantly, we need the energy. And the numbers are profound. Um, what we need from you, if, if I may say that directly, is we need energy in all forms, um, renewable, non-renewable, whatever. It needs to be there, and it needs to be quickly. I and others are investing in things like fusion, which are incredible, but they're not going to arrive soon enough for the need. So people are planning 10 gigawatt data centers. Now, just to do the translation, an average nuclear power plant in the United States is one gigawatt. How many, how many nuclear power plants can we make in one year where we're planning this 10 gigawatt data center? Gives you a sense of how big this crisis is. One of the estimates that I think is most likely is that data centers will require an additional 29 gigawatts of power by 2027 and 67 more gigawatts by 2030. Gives you a sense of the scale that we're talking. These things are industrial at a scale I have never seen in my life. Now, why is this all important? When you build these systems, you have intelligence in the computer and then eventually human level intelligence. Some people think it's within three to four years. Then after that, you have something called super intelligence. And super intelligence is the intelligence that's higher than of humans. We believe as an industry that this could occur within a decade. It is crucial that America get there first.